Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Meredith and today I have my Allure Beauty Box to unbox with you. This is for November 2021. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, stay tuned. After I finish filming this video, I'm actually going to also film the Allure Beauty Box versus BoxyCharm for a head-to-head -head sort of back-to-back -back look and kind of compare them and see which one fits my lifestyle better. And I'll kind of give you my opinion about the boxes. On top of that, I am also doing some spoiler videos. So a couple of spoilers have already been posted for Beauty Box. By that, I mean the Allure Beauty Box. So if you're interested in me making a video kind of looking at those in a little bit more detail, leave a comment below because I will definitely do that for you if that'll be helpful. On top of that, the Cosbox All True Box spoilers should be coming out in roughly like this week or next week. Nobody really knows at this point, but the billing date is December 1st for that box. And then also I am filming some vlog content and kind of getting some of that ready to go as well. Um, so let me jump in here. So the Allure Beauty Box is a monthly subscription box and you can either do month to month, a three month, six month, or 12 month sort of subscription. Um, personally, what I've read online is that people have recommended getting the gift subscription and then kind of sending the gift to yourself just so that you don't have the auto renew, but it is very easy to turn off auto renew. Okay, so I'm gonna just jump into it because I've been holding this for a long time, blabbering on. So this is what the box looks like this month. It's actually pretty full. Um, I do remember being somewhat excited by the spoilers this month, but I can't really remember what's in here. Wow, it's super full. <laughs> so this is what the box looks like. It's like bursting. Um, so let me open the info here. So there are some of these um, little bit of info card here about the boxes that are on sale. Um, so let me get started and this is the magazine. So they always put a magazine with a little bit of additional information in here. Um, some tips and tricks from the beauty editors, etc. Um, so the first product is from Tarte and this is the Quick Stick Waterproof Shadow and Liner in Rose Gold Luster and Black. Um, so my box got a little bit banged up in the process, but that's fine. It's just the box. Um, so let me pull it out. Um, I think that, yeah, so one side is the waterproof shadow and then the other one is the liner. So I'm guessing the waterproof shadow is the rose gold luster and then the liner is black. It's cruelty free and it says, wow, there's a lot of ingredients in here. It's a 30 second eyes complete eye look, three in one primer, shadow and liner, perfect for no makeup days and glam nights and it's waterproof. Um, so the info here says, on one end you'll find one of the smoothest black liners you'll ever try. The creamy texture glides along your lash line for major color payoff. On the other, a rose gold shadow stick for brightening up your eyes. How you'll use it, trace your upper lashes with the liner and then run the shadow stick right on top for the easiest smudgy smoky eyes. Use a clean finger to blend the shadow up and out for even more smokiness. When you want a more graphic look, the precise liner creates smooth, intense cat eyes and the rose gold to the inner corners of your eyes. And this has a $25 value. So that's actually a pretty high value. Um, so this box is $23 per month if you do the month to month, but if you do a longer subscription, it does reduce the price. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm not going to swatch it just because um, this is an eye product and I don't really want it to um, contaminate it, but let me try to open it just to show you. So this is the liner side. So personally, I try to use only brush waterproof liquid eyeliners um, that's a personal preference but I'll give this a go because actually this also sounds interesting so I don't know if you've also noticed this but I only notice it because I'm not very good at using cream sticks and this is probably like the second or third cream stick eyeshadow that we've gotten in the Allure Beauty Box in like a couple of months so this is kind of interesting I guess but I will definitely give this a go I think this is a relatively new product um, now that I'm thinking about it from when I did my spoiler video so it will be interesting to use Okay, the next product is also a full-size product, and this is from Wander Beauty, and this is the Wander Beauty Upgraded Lashes Treatment Mascara. And it says, this mascara gives eyes all the glam without the unwanted drama of smudging, flaking, and clumping. Its hourglass brush is covered with comb-like bristles to separate every single lash for maximum de definition. Plus, the jet black formula is infused with conditioning peptides and nourishing panthenol, so lashes are nourished and with every swipe. Um, so apply one to two coats for my lashes but better effect or layer on the buildable mess-free formula for a perfectly fanned out fringe. And this is a $26 value, so also we're already at over $50. So there is a coupon code for wanderbeauty.com. You can use Allure Nov 21 at checkout to receive 20% off your order and it's valid from November 15, 2021 through January 15, 2022. I can't believe it's 2022 almost. Um, so I'm not going to open this just because it is a mascara, but that is what the wand looks like. 
and you already saw the next item but let me see if there's any other info on here so it is in jet black and it's made in korea i forgot to look where this one was made so let me look so the tart stick is made in the usa it's also good for six months after opening and then same with this one it is made in korea but it's also good for six months after opening and it has the leaping bunny on the back the next item is the ico eyelash curler and it says, you don't need a surgeon's steady hand to get lifted curled lashes. The gentle arc and cushy pad of this tool make it easy to use, no accidental pinching here, and the handle rests comfortably on your cheek to make a curling a breeze. How you'll use it, there are so many different techniques for curling lashes, but we love this one shared by a top makeup artist. Curl your lashes by the base, apply one coat of mascara, let it dry completely, curl again, and then apply more mascara. Waiting a few seconds before going back in with the curler is key. If your lashes are wet, they may stick to the curler or the clump. And this has a $15 value for this um, eyelash curler. I think that's actually kind of expensive now that I think about it. But I mean, the other one that's really nice is the... Um, so the other ones that I think are like quite popular are the Shiseido or the Shu Umura. Um, I don't really have either one of those. So this is nice for me because I have been wanting to replace my current eyelash um, curler. So let me open this. Okay, so this is what it looks like here. It does say it has a cushion and it says that ensure pad is correctly in place before using an open curler and position over lashes. Squeeze and hold for five to 10 seconds. Replace lash curler after six months. Achieve maximum curl with our game-changing cushion curler with plumped cushion for extra comfort. Expect the perfect wide-eyed look without worrying about damaging lashes. The contoured curler hugs the shape of the eye perfectly, allowing for precise positioning to ensure every lash is captured and curled, whilst the cushioned silicone pad ensures effortless application. And this is made in South Korea, and yes, that is all the info I have for you, so let me open it. Okay, so it does have additional packaging in here, and also there is a refill in here. I don't know if you can see it in here, but there's a refill for the um, pad, which is nice. So I'm going to actually just leave the refill in here so I don't lose it, but this is what it looks like. It's like a really blue shade. I don't know if that matters to anyone, um, but it does feel really nice, actually. So I'm left-handed, so um, I don't think actually it matters for eyelash curlers. It definitely matters for like scissors and things, um, but it does feel like pretty substantial, but not being like too bulky, if that makes sense. Um, the other thing is, is like I have kind of fat thumbs and it's like a little bit of a snug fit, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is pretty nice and I'm happy to have this because again, I was going to buy one <laughs> whenever I was able to get like the motivation to leave my apartment basically. So this one coming was very nice. So the next item here is from Huamisa, so let me find it. Okay, so I found it here. So this is a sample. Um, this one is from Wamisa Organic Flowers Toner Deep Rich. And it says, uh, that's a little bit weird English. I think it's a deep rich toner. Um, this one says, if you haven't already tried hydrating toner, you are in for a treat. The prep step makes skin look so much dewier than moisturizer alone. This formula has a soft water-like texture, a subtle rose scent, and a radiant finish. All shebang makes you feel, smell, and look like you just came from a facial. I like the word shebang. I think it's funny. Um, it says, this is meant to be the first step in your morning skincare routine. Smooth about a nickel size amount onto damp, freshly cleansed skin and give it a few seconds to absorb before layering your other products on top. You can finish with a serum, cream, and or facial oil in that order, and sunscreen always, always goes last. Um, the full size has a $43 value. I'm not entirely sure how big the full size is, so I'll do some math and put it on the screen. And you can buy it on us.wamisa.com and enter Allure Deep Rich at checkout to receive 20% off your order. And this is valid from November 1st to December 31st, 2021. So let me open this. So let me see what other actually information is before I open this. It says it's Cosmos Organic and it's dermatologically tested, it's vegan, it says Jesus loves me, so yay Christianity. And then it also says in here that it was made from um, the 2021 May 21 and it's good through 2023 May 20th. Okay, so this is a 22 milliliter or 0.7 fluid ounce container. It says this organic toner has a rich serum-like bouncy texture that leaves skin instantly dewy and plumped. A blend of powerful botanical ingredients instantly boosts hydration to achieve a true glow from within effect on the first step of skincare after cleansing. It replaces water with organic and fermented ingredients deeply hydrate and nourish the skin. 
Um, so after cleansing face, dispense into hands and gently pat onto face. Use daily, morning and night, follow with moisturizer. And the ingredients are here. It has quite a few extracts, so if you are sensitive to anything, I'll try to get those into focus for you to see it. So you may want to take a closer look if you are sensitive to any extracts or essential oils because there are quite a few in here. Um, but on top of that, I don't see any additional like perfume or um, fragrance added, but there are quite a few oils in here. But this is like a cute little jar and it does have the expiration date printed on the bottom, so keep that in mind as well. Um, so I'm actually quite happy with this just because um, I don't have a small bottle of toner and I kind of have been needing one. Okay, the next item is from Neogen. It's the Neogen Termatology Probiotics Youth Repair Cream. So this one is a little sample as well. And this one says, inside this pretty pink jar is a whipped luxurious cream that coddles skin a much needed and appreciated feat during colder months. It's formulated with smoothing peptides, 11 of them to be exact, hydrating hyaluronic acid and nourishing ceramide to moisturize skin and give it a bouncy, slightly lifted effect. How you'll use it, slather it on under sunscreen each morning to give fine lines and laxity a one-two punch while making the skin dewy. It layers nicely over other skincare products like your new Wami Sad toner or your usual serum, but, but it's also hydrating enough that you can wear it solo on days when you want a more minimal routine. So the full size has $48 value and you can buy it at neogenlab.us and the promo code is Enter Allure 20 at checkout to receive 20% off your purchase of probiotics youth repair cream and is valid November 1st, 2021 through January 1st, 2022. Um, so this is what it looks like here. Sorry about that color. Um, and it's 15 grams or 0.52 ounces. It's anti-wrinkle in early age and it's dermatologist tested. And let's see what else. It does have the expiration on the um, crimping up here. I don't know if that's the right word. The crimping came into mind. But um, yeah, anyway, it says it's a nutritional cream that delivers hydration and firms the skin texture with super probiotics that helps strengthen skin elasticity and is a natural barrier. And this is good for 12 months after opening and it's made in Korea. Okay, the next product, sorry, I got my booster yesterday and I'm a little bit wiped out. So um, let me just keep going on. The next one is Simply by Helena Simple Cleanser and it's in here. So this is another sample, but it's a pretty big sample actually. So um, the cleanser, spoiler alert, in my BoxyCharm video that I received this month, I think is four ounces. So this is like a pretty sizable sample, it's two ounces. Milky texture, subtle lavender scent, and soothing ingredients, chamomile water and goat's milk will work together to create a spa leg zen experience and a perfect beginning and end to every day. Um, how you'll use it, massage a dime-sized amount across damp skin in circular motions to remove makeup, even mascara, and skincare. Um, so the full size is $29.95, so it's four ounces, so this will have about a $15 value, which is a very expensive um, cleanser in my opinion. And it says it's available at simplybyhelena.com slash pages slash allure. And if you enter Allure 20 at checkout to receive 20% off your purchase of the four ounce simple cleanser and this is valid from november 1st 2021 through december 31st 2021 so let me see if i can give you any additional info in here it's got really simple packaging um they also put the promo code on the top here so if you forget or lose your booklet you do have it on your jar and it says direction slash face with warm water apply a palm sized amount to skin massaging gently and carefully avoiding eye contact finish with a cold water rinse pat dry recommended for daily use use as directed and this is made in the united states and let's see what else is in here so it does have quite a few ingredients um, but i do not see any added fragrance i would say there are quite a few extracts that are like um citrusy so if you do have any sensitivities to that um, i would probably say take a very close look at here uh, because i did see lemon and orange in here and there's also some other things in here like bilberry sugar maple cranberry so yeah anyway this sounds like it'll be a very like natural cleanser um so then i'm going to continue moving on the next item is from pili ani it's a self-care night recovery oil okay so i found it and um this is a night oil and this one says there's nothing quite like waking up after using this face oil and realizing your skin feels much more hydrated than normal. Blend is stacked with moisturizing squalane and a mighty list of plant-derived extracts including calendula and chamomile. 
how you'll use it, smooth it on as the last step of your nighttime routine or use it alone for a smoother, softer skin the next day. The full size has a $72 value and it's available at piliani.com and you can enter Allure30 at checkout to receive 30% off your order and it's valid from November 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2021. Um, so let me open this. It says actually this small little bottle here is apparently good for a 30 day daily skin ritual of evening use. Um, so this small bottle is 3 ml or 0.101 fluid ounces. And let's see on the back here. It's an artisanal natural product and it's made in the Philippines. That seems like a very interesting country. I haven't seen that many products made in the Philippines, so let, leave a comment below if you have any um, intel about that. It says a moisturizing face oil that revitalizes and restores skin overnight. Pili and Elemi oils are precious extracts found in the Philippines. Pili Ani's exclusive blend of Pili and Elemi oils are combined with squalene, arnica, evening primrose, calendula, philippine jasmine, chamomile, and lavender. Use this rich formulation overnight to soothe, renew, and deeply moisturize the skin. The Pili Ani Self Care Night Recovery Oil has a calming effect on skin. Wake up with a younger, brighter, and natural glow. Um, so it says, apply two to three drops of your fingertips and rub gently to warm the oil massage onto clean face and neck in upward motion. Breathe deeply to calm your senses. Use alone or over any Pili Ani um, facial cream at night to lock in extra hydration may also be used as a primer for dewy skin all day. This bottle will last up to 30 days of continued use. So again, quite a few extracts in here and it is again made in the Philippines. So let me try to get this in focus, it's very small writing. So again, I just would like to say a lot of people um, are harsh or upset with the Allure Beauty Box, but then those same people are the ones who complain about things being made in China <laughs> and nothing has been made in China this month. Yeah, so this is a teeny, teeny, tiny little bottle, but it is full. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it is very full in here. And it's kind of a little bit more um, viscous than I thought it would be. I don't know if this is on, coming up on camera for you. But it's um, a little bit more watery than I thought it was going to be. So let me open it. I'm a little bit worried, honestly, because I don't really like um, lavender that much. So this is the color. It's kind of like a light amber color. I don't know if you can see it. Or like kind of like a honey kind of color. Okay, so the lavender scent is very mild, I would say, but it is very fragrant. So again, if you do have any sensitivities, I would probably say you might want to patch test this because it does have quite a few oils in it. And let's see. Oh, did you know that there's actually a GQ Best Box for men? If you're interested in any of these deals, just use your camera app and put it at the um, screen just to get these QR codes. Um, I guess there is like a GQ box. Actually, I remember that because I was looking at it because I was like, why is this marketed for men? I kind of wanted, it's a little bit more unisex, I guess, than a lot of the female, you know, oriented boxes. So anyway, there is one final item in here and this is just kind of like a sample marketing material. So we haven't gotten one of these in a while. So let me open it. So yeah, so anyway, this is a new product from Neutrogena. So as I said, I don't count this in part of my um, calculations for the box because this is just like free marketing for them. Cause you know, like when you get a magazine, sometimes they put like samples in the magazine pages for the advertisements. I kind of just count that as this. So this is the Severin Backheads Daily Serum is a salicylic acid acne treatment. Visibly clears clogged pores and helps eliminate blackheads. It's 10% glycolic, mandelic, and polyhydroxy acids and it is a fragrance free and this is a 12 and this is 0.12 fluid ounces or 3.5 mils and then the expiration for this is 2023 and it is April. So this is what it normally looks like. It's in like a little tube but the one we got is kind of like in a little um, foil packet that's kind of looks like a coffee pod if you know what I mean. So yeah that is everything in the box this month for me. I actually think this was a pretty good box. Um, I feel like they kind of started doing a better job at like making a more curated sort of thing. So like if I were to only use this box for a month, I think I could and have like a pretty good routine. I would just need like my foundation because I mean the skincare that they put in here is meant to be layered. So even within the booklet, they talked about it. So first you do the cleanser and then you will put the toner on right after. 
And then after you're done with the toner, you will put on a serum. So they did put that acne serum in there. But personally, I don't really have acne that, that much. So I'm not going to use it probably every day. So I would kind of jump into my other stockpile of items. Um, I think we actually got a serum last month now that I'm thinking about it. And then on top of that, then you put this um, moisturizer. And then you also use the facial oil after that. And then in terms of the makeup side, they had three eye products. And I do tend to enjoy the um, products that Allure curates just because they tend to be a little bit more mainstream brands. And I don't know, I feel like I'm a little bit happier when I have some name recognition myself. And I'm not really up on all of the makeup brands and things like that. I know a lot of people are into indie brands, but I just like don't have enough energy to research things. So the fact that we got a Tarte eyeliner and eyeshadow stick is great. And then on top of that, we also got the curler that can be paired with this mascara. So personally, I was quite happy with this box this month, and it was also pretty inexpensive for how much value we got. One of the other things that I enjoy about the Allure Beauty Box is they do tend to put a lot more global brands in. So um, like the BoxyCharm, for example, they put in a lot more like indie brands or something like that. But the Allure Beauty Box tends to do like global brands, and they're usually pretty expensive, high quality global brands. I just know that because I was far more into Korean skincare in my younger days. So when I start seeing a lot of these more Korean skincare brands coming in, I am a little bit more excited maybe than the average bear, but I don't know about that. Um, so yeah, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this month's box. Also, let me know if you think it was worth $23. So again, this is probably, I think I have one more box um, left in my annual subscription from last year because I did skip, I think, three or four boxes. Um, so my last box for this season or this subscription will be December. Um, I do plan on kind of looking at the Black Friday sales um, coming up, oh my gosh, next week. Yeah, next week. Wow. Um, and then I'm going to see if they're running a really great special or something like that. And then I'll probably get a new um, subscription based on that. Um, last year they had a pretty good gift. Um, so actually now that I'm thinking about it, leave a comment below and maybe consider subscribing if you're interested. Um, I will do a spoiler video if they do release like a mega box again like they did last year along with a subscription discount. Um, I'll probably put up a video for that. So leave a comment below and let me know if that sounds like a great idea. And for everything else, thank you again for watching and I will film my BoxyCharm versus Allure Beauty Box right after this. So I'll talk to you soon. You'll probably see me in about a week. Bye.